Hi, I'm Pafu Yang in Crystal. Our news team is out in the northwest suburbs every day, bringing you news and information from your community. Here's a look at today's stories. And remember, for more, you can always go on our website, ccxmedia.org. A local health care provider is now offering a COVID-19 test that will let people know whether they've been exposed to the virus or whether they have an antibody response to it. So some people find it's peace of mind to know that they have an antibody response, even though they know that doesn't necessarily mean they're immune, but it's reassuring that you've mounted an antibody. So that's really, really where we are today. North Memorial Health began offering a serology antibody test, which is done through a simple blood draw directly to consumers a few weeks ago. A positive test is presumed to mean that a person has been infected with the virus that causes COVID-19 at some point in the past and has antibodies against the virus. It's an important step for people interested in donating convalescent blood plasma, which is used to treat people who currently have COVID-19. Meanwhile, North Memorial officials want to stress that even if the test shows you have antibodies, it doesn't infer immunity to COVID-19. Taking the test does not preclude you from not wearing a mask, social distancing, washing your hands frequently, and keeping your immunizations up to date. All those things still should be in play. North Memorial offers a serology antibody test at the Robbinsdale Medical Building and at the Maple Grove Medical Center. The cost of the test is $53. For more information on how to schedule an appointment, you can go to our website at ccxmedia.org. Harvest is a time of joy, and thankfully, the Twin Cities Harvest Festival in Mays is open this year. Uh, with uh, what we are allowed to do is have food trucks, and uh, so if you are interested in stopping by and just being part of the food part of the corn maze, there's no admission for that. Bert and his whole family have been busy readying the grounds and knew this year there's no general admission, but still lots to do. And we do have the hay ride that goes to the pumpkin patch. This year is new. You will be able to pick your own pumpkin out of the field. On the way over to the pumpkin patch, the hayride will pass by Bert's beautiful patch of sunflowers. Bert still has a plethora of pumpkins that he's brought in from the field in case you don't want to go out and find your own. And as you are here, we encourage you to take advantage of the corn maze that we have. Every year, Bert picks a different design to carve into the maze. Usually, it's been to honor a Minnesota sports team. Guess which team he picked this year. This is physically by square foot the largest corn maze in Minnesota. You may ask, what is he doing? Well, I'm giving you a hint as to what is carved in the corn. Skyuma meets row the boat. The word Skyuma is a cheer for the university. So that has been carved in there. But what does Skyuma mean? And does it have anything to do with corn? Uh, it's a word I can ask my wife. Molly, what does Kayuma mean? I married into a family with the gopher. They love the gophers, but I could not answer that question. Inside the maze, you can do the scavenger hunt for the trivia signs placed throughout the maze, where you'll learn things you may never have known about the gophers. And the best thing about the corn maze? No masks required. Tickets are only $6 to roam the maze on weekdays and $8 on the weekends. Which brings me to another first. We will be open every day. So if you feel like you need a little more space, Monday to Friday from noon to 6, you'll be open every day. And of course, they'll be open weekends through November 1st from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Even in the current state of things, Bert Bauman proves that if you just row the boat, they will come. In Brooklyn Park, Neil Persley, CCX News. We are one of the largest in, the, in Minnesota here in the metro area for what we do. Recognition is a quality that everyone appreciates, whether it be for a job well done or years of dedication to an organization. And for more than 50 years, Viking Trophies has helped to provide that service. We service everyone from the individual looking to update a fantasy football trophy, to, you know, large corporate clients. Owner Zenon Davidovich says many of those clients want to physically see what sort of awards and recognition products they offer before making a purchase. We do get a lot of traffic indoors. People want to see and feel and kind of meet us. Um, and then after that, they can place their orders either online or um, via phone. And when they make their way inside this Brooklyn Park shop, 
That's when they meet the company's mischievous and furry 10-year-old employee. Charlie made his way to Viking Trophies about eight years ago. A year later, he earned the title of official store greeter. It's a positive presence. You know, he's kind of a natural stress reliever, having him around. Staff members say he's amassed quite the following over the years, with customers asking to see him when they come in. Usually you see like a just immediate change in their demeanor, <laughs> where they're like from business to like, oh, I'm, it's playtime. <laughs> Yet aside from being an entertaining sideshow, Charlie's role has evolved. Since the start of the pandemic, business at Viking Trophies has taken a hit. And Charlie has become their unofficial <laughs> comfort animal. He visits everyone through the course of the day, and it's just a nice break where it's not work, it's not this, you know, you can just take and take a minute and, you know, interact with an animal and just kind of brings you back down a little bit. Much like recognition, people also need distractions from everyday life. <laughs> and even if it's just for a brief moment, this furry feline earns his keep. He's a great perk, he's a great addition here. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. <laughs> Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.